On this episode of American Fire, Bolie welds and works to get this race car ready. And Adam, Bolie's son, puts pedal to the metal and rips up the dirt. In the rolling hills of southeastern Pennsylvania, among the Amish and Mennonites, there's a special company called Fireline Equipment. These are the people fire departments call when they need help. Steve, Jimmy, Shannon, Kelly and Nadine and the whole crew work daily to keep these firefighting apparatus in top condition. Some are also firefighters on alert 24-7. Deputies are out. The men in charge of this special company are Tim and Ron. And this is American Fun. Hi, my name is Roger High. I'm with Fireline Equipment, and please watch American Fire. Hey, Barry. Okay. Welcome back to American Fire. Bully's fixing the damaged rear section to get this race car strong and sturdy for tonight's race. Well, in the frame together after replacing a few pieces that provide extra support. Well, I'm trying to fix the shock tower on the left side here. It holds the shock, and uh. The kid rolled over last week and it uh, slid on his side, caught the tire and ripped the shock tower out. So something, it's nice to use the TIG welder to weld this fine stuff and make a lot nicer and fancier Because I brought it in earlier this year before we put it all together and did some welds and cracked over them. We run dirt so they crack, so we got to fix them. This is a 250 Honda motor. It's a uh, air uh, water cooled. It's stock bone stock. This is a bone stock class. You can't build this motor at all. It has to be right out of the bike. We just took it out. We pulled it right in the car, and that's what you run. We run with the air cooled, which air cooled motors are with the fins called air cooled. They're hard to get because they quit doing them in like '84, so they're hard to get parts for, and they're running extinct. So 
This year they decided to run these motors with them cars. Just to make it fast. There's like 40 cars a night now. So you gotta run. But they only take 24. So if you have one hiccup, you done missed the race. I know the boy missed it. He missed it one week. One week he missed the race. Because it uh he didn't he just didn't qualify. Things didn't work. Like the back of this car's got staggered. If you notice, there's an eight inch tire here and there's a 10 inch tire over here. And that one's like 58 and a half, and this one's like 64. So from that side to this side, there's like six inches of stagger. And that's to get us around the oval track in the dirt. We race dirt. They don't race, they race these on asphalt some places, but we don't do that. The car don't show. But that's basically what the car is. It's, it shifts. You got shift, you got shift every lap. You got downshift going into the corners, you got upshift. It's got all the harnesses and they gotta be updated. You gotta have a high back seat for safety. You gotta have arm restraints. You gotta wear neck braces and colors. A lot of them wears home devices like NASCAR does. A lot of them wears cage cams. Some of the seats, in the, if you can afford it, they put six, seven hundred dollar seats in these little things. That are all just like the NASCAR, are all the way around your head, and you're boxed in. But we run a low budget and have fun. But everything adjusts. Everything's adjustable nowadays on these cars. But just the wing. It's supposed to have a wing, but the wing's not on. Working around the car, you bang your head on the wings. Just gives you brain damage. <laughs> Keep banging your head on things, and everything's sharp. That's basically what this is. We race Saturday nights in the dirt, get there about four or five o'clock and get home about midnight every Saturday night. But I only go every other week. I don't, I help my boy every other week because that's the week my wife works. So I go when she's working and she's not, I stay home. <laughs> Make everybody happy. But it's fun. I've been doing it for 20 some years. I was actually official of the track. I did tech committee where they tear the motor down, inspect the cars. I helped another guy 15 years and he won three championships. We won probably 70 races, but he quit, got a little too old. I wanted to move on to Boy Scouts, so I quit for five years and now my boy decided he wants to start racing. I just bought my grandson a race car too. And he's only four and a half, but I wanted to start him off young. Maybe we'll get somewhere big someday. All right, I gotta get back to Weldon. Well, he's back turning wrenches and pushing hard to get this race car in tip-top shape. The race tonight means a lot to Bowley and his son Adam. A race car rebuilt from the ground up gets to show off its upgrades in the big race tonight. Denali is proud to sponsor American Fire. We salute the men and women of the fire service. What's a Denali? It's a personal listening system for people with a hearing deficiency. Do others complain that you watch TV with the volume turned up too loudly? In a group, do you have trouble understanding the person who is talking? Are you always being asked to repeat yourself? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you might be a candidate for a Denali. Denali personal listening system units are made in the USA. Unlike prescription hearing aids that require multiple doctor's appointments and fittings, Denali units are delivered to your door, ready to use at a fraction of the cost. Denali's are programmable with four different hearing profiles. Not a single profile like those Chinese-made units that are supposed to work for everybody, but rarely do. Every Denali is custom made when you order. Best of all, every Denali unit carries a full one-year warranty. To learn more about Denali, visit our website at DenaliPLS.com or click on the link at AmericanFireTV.com. Listen to the life you've been missing with Denali. 
Somewhere there's a secret farm where the soil is just right and the rain falls just enough to produce the best peppers, chilies, and spices. Then we make them suffer. <laughs> These pampered plants are grilled, broiled, fried, and toasted until they get real mad and real hot. Then we grind them up to make American fire hot sauces. Five great flavors from one that will perk up your favorite dish to one that'll make you yell out for your mama. American Fire Hot Sauce is available from the web store at AmericanFireTV.com. Buy some and warn your mama. We're back with more American Fire. Bully putting the finishing touches on the car's frame and it looks ready to race. From shock to the racetrack, the competition is hot and ready. Bowley and Adam have sponsors to give them the support they need, including Fireline Equipment. Kelly and his son have come to support Steve and Adam as they unload the car and get it off the trailer and ready to race. Bowley checks the air pressure in each tire to make sure the tires are ready to grip the clay perfectly. Correct tire pressure is very important. Just a couple of pounds, too little or too much, can mean the difference between winning and losing. Adam scheduled a race in two heat races. Bowley checks to make sure there's enough fuel to finish each race. Everything looks ready to go. The competition looks intense tonight. Each race team has their trailers open. The race cars are prepped for action. I got into racing. My buddy he used to work with us. He got it. He was a racer, and I went through a divorce, and I didn't have a lot of money. And he said, "You want to start helping me with the race car?" And I said, "Yeah, I'll I'll gladly come up and help." So I started going to the races. Well, one week led into another week, and another week went went on, and I spent 15 years helping with his race car. And, I actually worked at the track for eight years. I was on the tech committee. My wife worked there for six or seven years as a pit stores doing five tickets, selling tickets and stuff. And then I, 2009, I decided it was, I had enough of the racing for a while. So I retired for a little bit and sat back. And, <laughs> and then my boy decided he thought he ought to race. What do you think? Uh, it's starting to clear up. Yeah, it'd be a shame all the work you did all this week and you can't get this race in. I know. Spent a lot of hours on the wing. Got the wing ready, got to make sure the chassis was right. Mitch go, weekly go over everything, make sure everything's right. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Sun's coming out. So, hopefully so. we can get this in this week. Once they're out on the track, it's each man for himself. Bully's scoping out the competition. Rub book at six, because they're a tough dog. Them two boys run, and they're, they're fast. That's five. Yeah, and if you notice, there's two identical. One runs this fast, and then that guy jumps out and runs another fast. And that other guy runs 250 class, and then he jumps into 600. Then he gets over there and jumps on another guy's 250. So he runs, that one guy runs three classes. He jumps from car to car to car, but he's the one that Yeah, and he's he's the vice president. So yeah, he's been here. We raced against him ten years ago we started uh, racing here. His sister raced here too. But Henninger ran against him years oh, yeah. ago. Yeah, so we banged we banged Will was him ten years ago too. <laughs> Well, the cars are ready, the drivers are anxious. Each car gets into position to be rolled out onto the track. The intensity levels rise and climb and higher. Every racer has a heavy foot ready to mash the gas pedal. Adam's getting dressed in his driver's suit. His race is up next. I'm in third heat. Um, so do you start, start seventh on the inside. Some of so. Inside. That's yeah, good. It's the inside. You're gonna, find our time, work our way up through. Looks like they're already up through. Don't know if they're running practice, so we'll see. Practice see gets yep. You had your practice, so I'm we're happy. Good. You were we're good. good for today. We're good. So. Right now we're good. Hopefully we can just keep up with the track. 
Bowley conducts a last second check on the race car, making sure everything's bolted down and securely fastened just to make sure he's adding a little more fuel to the car. It looks like Adams Heat Race is up next. Bowley and the team push the car out and get it positioned to Adams Place in line. Coming up next, Adam's car is good to go, and he's in the race and kicking up some dirt. And in Adam's next race, the competition grows more intense. Keep watching to find out if Adam wins. But first, it's time for another American Fire Quiz. In the U.S., there are approximately 1.3 million firefighters. Our question this week is how many fire stations are there? Your choices, 29,327, 43,212, 52,341, or 78,692. Stay tuned to American Fire. We'll be right back with the answer. This is Jessica. She's one of our top producers. This is Sophia. She's new, but showing real promise. And this is Megan. She's already on her second run today. This is where Michael's honey is made. This is the honeycomb where it all happens. Just the purest honey on earth, made by bees, Michael's Bees. We partnered with American Fire to offer you the best honey on earth. You can order it direct through the American Fire website at AmericanFireTV.com. No need to hurry. You can buy American Fire gear online. Just type in AmericanFireTV.com and enter the series website. Catch up and watch American Fire full episodes online free. Order those tasty American Fire food products like barbecue sauce, honey, jellies, and our amazing hot sauces, plus other great gear like aprons, jackets, t-shirts, and glasses, mugs, and coffee sets. Visit AmericanFireTV.com on the web and like us on Facebook. Denali is proud to sponsor American Fire. We salute the men and women of the fire service. Hi, my name is Dean, and my wife used to always complain because I had the TV on too loud. She'd say, gee, the neighbors can hear what we're watching. Uh, before I got the Denali's, uh, the wife and I would go, and I would really not be able to hear anything she said because of the clinking of the glasses, uh, the wait staff making noise, just the background conversations behind us. And I got the Denali's, I could hear better all the way around, but particularly in restaurants, it's got a restaurant setting in them, so I could turn that and uh, it, it just enhances the things that you hear in a restaurant type environment. And now I really enjoy going out to eat again and I enjoy talking to my wife and hearing her. To learn more about Denali, visit our website at DenaliPLS.com or click on the link at AmericanFireTV.com. Listen to the life you've been missing with Denali. Welcome back to American Fire. Right before the break, we ask, how many fire stations are there? Your choices were 29,327, 43,212, 52,341, or 78,692. What's your answer? Well, if you said 52,341, you're correct. 1.3 million firefighters work out of 52,341 fire stations all across the USA. And now, back to more American Fire. And we're back. The racers line up to their positions. All the different cars are tuned up and heavily prepped to outdistance their opponents. In racing this intense, they don't save anything for later. These drivers give it all they got to get up front and stay up front. My son has a 2000 Viper chassis. It runs a 250 two-stroke motor. It's all stock. It's uh, liquid cold. We run a 10th mile track Saturday night up at uh, Schaeferstown, which is actually in Lebanon County, but it's Schaeferstown. Uh, it's a nice track. They run every, almost every Saturday for about four or five months straight. They, uh, but we, uh, yeah, it's a, it's just a small car, weighs 
600 pounds with a driver. He, uh, we haul on a small trailer. I keep it in my garage for him. I have parts in the garage. I have parts in the shed. I have parts in the, parts in the basement for it. So I have cars that, well, actually I have a whole extra car in the shed too that he bought. It looks like Adam is up to the race. Bully and the crew pushing the car into position. The other racers are focused and strapping themselves in. For some, this is a hobby. For others, it's life itself. Adam's rolled out onto the track. Bolly pushes Adam. A moment they've both been waiting for all week. Adam slows down to get pushed by the track's mule. Uh, this is needed to get every racer started to build up the speed they need to take off. They circle around the track a few times, getting into qualifying position. One last lap to go before they go for broke. It's all or nothing. Heart, soul, rubber, and steel will speed down this muddy dirt track, but only one winner will cross the finish line. Track steward directs the racers to the left as he prepares to let them loose and the race is off. Adam trails in fifth place ahead of two cars and he's gained it on the fourth place car looking to climb his way through the field. Pushing through each turn, Adam maintains control as he tries to overtake the racers in front of him. Drifting these cars sideways is how these skilled drivers keep the car in control around turns. Professional driving techniques like this are used to maintain engine RPMs and keep the car in the power band. Not doing this technique will cause you to trail to the end of the line. Yeah. Um, no sooner walked into the track, paid to get my pit pass, um, and Bully Burt's son was out on the track, or just getting ready to go out on the track and run either the first or maybe his second uh, uh, heat race. Um, so um, got to see that, got into the pits, um, got to see the car we sponsored for the first time. Um, watched a whole lot other races and then of course the feature races. Um, so that was a, a, a neat night. I'm, I'm sure we're gonna do more of that in the future. Um, maybe help him with his paint scheme a little more. Um, I'm sure it's going to require throwing a little more money at it, but uh, we'll uh, definitely continue to help him. Well, the last lap is in. The race filled with skilled drivers. Adam's first race is over, resulting in a sixth place finish. It was a tough race, but at least he finished. All the racers exit the track to allow the next race to take place. Bully and the team meet up with Adam to inspect the car and get it set for the next race. Not too bad, Adam. Let's see how you do on the next race.
Be sure to check out our official Facebook page, get access to exclusive behind-the-scenes content, and connect with other members of the American Fire community. And we're back with more American Fire. Another top-to-bottom check being performed on the car, Bowley checking the air pressure again. Reducing the pressure a little gives Adam a little more traction on track and reduces wheel spin as he goes through the turns. Everything is set and Adam is good to go. Bowley and the crew push Adam back to where he needs to go to get in position for the next race. The race is more intense than ever. This is one of the main feature races tonight. Adam will be racing against more cars than last time. And these boys are motivated to win this race. It's serious bumper to bumper racing action here. Looks like Adam is maintaining his focus to keep himself in the race. Oh, it looks like Adam may have took the turn a little too tight, caused him to slow down and lose a position. But he continues to fight, never letting go, as he tries to gain speed and overtake a few cars ahead. But the race is over. The night didn't go as planned. He put his all into the race tonight. Better luck next time, Evan. the next episode of American Fire, Joe and his wife display their clay shooting skills, and the Fireline team enjoy some target shooting at Corey's brother's home range. It's a competitive bunch. Next time on American Fire. See you again next week. Be safe out there.